You ready to film another exciting episode of Real Good at Doing Stuff? I can't wait. Got to be more exciting. I go. can't wait. Okay, good. There we go. Real good stuff, doers. Um, it's time for another unbelievably exciting episode of Real Good at Doing Stuff. Um, like, share, and subscribe, all that stuff. Merch is at heraldengine.com. Also, if I've been hearing from some of you guys that uh, some of you, you subscribers have been getting unsubscribed. Um, so, apparently our digital corporate overlords at Google are in the habit of doing that. So anyhow, go check. If you're subscribed, go check and make sure you're still subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, then I don't know. I guess that's just uh, that's a, that's a personal problem. But anyhow, today we're gonna talk about, uh, it's kind of an engine builder thing. So some of you guys may not be interested. I don't know. But uh, the thrust surface on blocks can be an issue. And today we've got one of these cases. So I thought I'd talk about it for a minute. Um, and I talk about the solution that I've come up with years ago to help kind of sort this out. Um, in this case, we got a 302 Ford that's been through a little bit of trauma. It's pushed the thrust bearing and, uh, we've managed to save things. We've got the, the mains back in shape and all that's good, ready for bearings. But you can see there's been a lot of heat here and, uh, I want to true this up to make sure that the thrust bearing has a good surface to sit on. Your thrust forces are pushing this way and we want a, a good contact patch because that's where your heat gets sweated out through. And uh, the, the slicker this is and the more true it is, uh, the better we're going to be. Um, and it's a little bit of a trick to get that right. So I, years ago, I came up with a solution to do, that makes this a fairly easy job and uh for a long time I, I kind of thought about marketing this but then i realized that was probably waste time so anyhow we're going to talk about it today let's go in here and look at this device all right it's fairly simple i call it my sizzle stick um an engine builder buddy of mine used to tell me all the time that he would say pete we're selling the sizzle not the steak so <laughs> for whatever reason, I, I called this my sizzle stick because it puts just a little bit more pizzazz on a block when you're machining it, getting ready for assembly. Um, and the way this works is I'm going to have a bushing here and here. They're going to go in the mains. This is just a, any engine builder watching this can make this fairly easily. It's just a two inch piece of, piece of shaft stock. Um, I made this one modular and it turns out that was a good idea because uh, uh, in this case, I had to make a new piece for the 302. I've got an, another one that I've made for LS's and for and Windsor's and whatnot. Um, but the 302 has a thr smaller diameter thrust area. So um, I had to make a change. Uh, anyhow, this surface right here, which is true and perpendicular to this shaft, we machined it in the lathe to, to make it so. Um, I cut out a piece of sandpaper that sticks right to that. This bolts on. Um, and in the other case, I've got one that has just a larger ID. Sandpaper probably comes out to all the way out to here or so. Um, but for a 302, we got a kind of small area. So don't have, a, don't have that option. Have to, had to make a different one. So it's good, to, good that I made it where it'll bolt on. I can slide this off, slide the other one on when I do an LS or Windsor or whatever. Um, but anyhow, this is going to go in the block. And I'm going to show you that process. What I do to just true this up and you'll see pretty quickly how this works. 
All right, our sizzle stick is up in this 302, ready to go. In this case, I just got BHJ uh, bushings that are I'm using to hold this thing. That thing works off a two inch shaft too, so it works out good. Some of them are a little tight and I made my own for different blocks, but um, we're in there. Gotta be careful, we can't back up too much. We'll be crashing into the mains here. It's important to try to get your oiler right over there. Anybody that's ever honed or ground anything understands you gotta have coolant. That's what does the work. Um, and you wanna get the cap on uh, so that your thrust is as close together like it's gonna be in the block. As true as it can be. It's a little bit of a trick sometimes. Sometimes just cutting the caps on these things, uh, this can be a good idea to do this afterwards because it's almost impossible to cut them exactly square. And this will help square everything back up. But anyhow, the bars in the hone and uh, want to uh, cut a little bit and you'll immediately see this start to come in. All right, so I got my oil flowing here. Um, I just close off all the other extra ports. We're only interested in this one here. And now I'm just going to run the drill a little bit. And I'll just basically continue this process until I get a the finish that I'm looking for. And I think in this case, I've already got it. Yeah, I'll take it apart and look at it, but I think I'm pretty close already. Didn't take much to true things back up. All right, so here's our. One thing it may help to do, uh, probably a good idea if I got some diamond sandpaper instead of regular sandpaper, because once you're in here, you don't want to have to, it'll dull your paper really quick, and uh, you don't want to have to come back apart to get new sandpaper, so diamond sandpaper would probably be a pretty good investment. So anyhow, there's your sizzle stick. It's pretty much just a stick with sandpaper on it. Nothing complicated, pretty easy to make. Anybody with a lathe and a little bit of time can make something and uh, true stuff up that could be kind of sketchy. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's pretty handy from time to time. I've even used it with uh, real fine sandpaper and on the bearing itself in the past. Um, <clears throat> but anyhow, that's enough for today. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm sure you already are because you're concerned about the repercussions if you're not. Uh, if you are subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed. Uh, that's enough for today. Whatever. Who cares? Oh.